The argument that began research for the exhibition centered around two paintings, one in Worcester, one in Paris at the Musée du Louvre, which we were privileged to be able to reunite for this, uh, on this occasion. They had always been confused in scholarship as the work of Leonardo's uh, co-pupil in Verrocchio studio, Lorenzo di Credi. It's our purpose here to demonstrate that they are by Leonardo da Vinci, and in one case by Leonardo finished later by Lorenzo di Credi. In the course of doing all this work, we also discovered seven other paintings that have Leonardo's hand in them that have not always been recognized as his, one of which we were very lucky to be able to bring to New Haven. That's the great um, triumphal entry scene from the Musée Jacques Marandre in Paris. This is the first time that painting has been displayed publicly in decades, and certainly the only time it's ever been displayed, recognized to be Leonardo's work. I think people will always be interested in Leonardo da Vinci as one of the great minds and one of the great painters of all time. Uh, we've always known much less about him than we wish we did. Um, I think this exhibition is an opportunity finally to explore an unknown moment in his early career, the moment of his training in his teacher's workshop, to see how Leonardo emerged from the world uh, in which he was brought up to become the artist that we've always known and admired. The arguments demonstrating all these attributions are complicated. The exhibition is small, but we try to make available as much of the information as possible. The full arguments are available in the catalog for the show, but the exhibition itself is only going to be here through October 7th. Uh, sadly, at that point, all the pictures dispersed to their owners. Um, I do want to call special attention for visitors to the great Madonna by Verrocchio in the last gallery. This is a painting that is in a private collection, has never been exhibited publicly before, and as far as we know, may never again be exhibited publicly. This is a unique opportunity to admire it. People may not realize that Whereas Leonardo left behind a body of maybe 4,000 drawings, there aren't more than two dozen paintings that have been recognized as his. The privilege of being able to look closely at three of them is extraordinary. There is nowhere else in the world outside Paris that that can be done. The, the experience of spending that much time that close to a work by Leonardo, uh, it can't be described.